Meantime, tributes are also pouring in for a man who is known as Canada's rabbi. Rabbi Reuven Volka died this morning after a battle with cancer. He was 77 years old. The rabbi was a longtime leader of an Ottawa synagogue. Joining me now is Peggy Tyon. She's the president of the Buer Foundation. Peggy, thank you so much for giving us your time and to you and the community, our deepest condolences. Angie, thank you so much for uh, having me on to reflect on Rabbi. What was going through your mind when you when you heard the news, and, and how has Rabbi uh, Bolka inspired you? You know, it's the news you know that's coming that you never want to hear. Um, it truly is a devastating loss, obviously for his family, first and foremost, to the congregation, to our community, and and as you say, to the country as a whole, for sure. How has he inspired, then, the work that you do with your foundation? You know, um, he was um, such a powerful force of good and had tremendous energy. Like, he, his force of um, himself, what he was just so deeply engaged, and he really believed in community in such authentic ways. And, you know, that rare force of selfless good, nothing was in it for him. It was all about us. And... Um, we had actually just met uh, for our regular catch-up. It was like a cold fall, uh, COVID, out on a, on, a, uh, on a patio with masks on, having a coffee, talking about uh, his getting involved with Briere to lead um, a campaign for enhancing care of the elderly and giving more dignity to seniors in the city. And, um, you know, he was just full of ideas, as always, just brimming with ideas and, and deeply wanting to make a difference, as he always did. What do you think his legacy will then be? Um, you know, certainly uh, a void, many would say, in the community. Absolutely, because, you know, before I actually got to know him, he was kind of everywhere. And you always wonder about people like that. Like, are they really true to form? Like, is that really who they are? And he really was. Like, he was just so authentically kind-hearted um, and so energized and always willing to say yes. I think the thing, you know, he was really public, but he was also really private in his kindness and the good that he did for others. And he often, um, you know, when I, we, we would meet, his phone was always ringing because there was always somebody in the community who needed his help, a family who needed his help. He did all of those things quietly as, as much as he did all of these public things. I think that um, Rabbi really wanted us to be kind, you know, um, and that deep empathy, that goodness, that pure love, that kind kindness to each other. Um, and I remember him saying to me once, never say give back. We should never, this should never be about giving back. This should just be about giving. It's about living. It's about who we are and how we are in the world. And it's not about giving back because giving back says that you're doing it for, for something, right? You're doing it because you're owed. And this is not about being owed. This is actually about being engaged and being a true citizen. And I really think that's his legacy. It certainly is for me. Peggy Tyon, thank you so much for giving us your time today. Again, our condolences to you and the community, but really appreciate you sharing your, your memories. Thank you so much, Angie. Really appreciate it. You're welcome.